What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dre. And I'm Taylor. And we're talking about VR. VR, to me, is the coolest thing in the world. I remember when I played my first VR game back in the early 90s. It was this game where we... It was at a fair, too. They had this giant, like... It was basically like a... Uh, How heavy was a headset back in the day? Jesus Christ. It, it was a giant head. This was headset on back too? then... <laughs> Was like you know see, you see the headset in like Back to the Future with all the metal. Does it, it look like a, does it look like Black Mantis? Yeah, basically it? it was like a Black Mantis headset. Yeah, but it fully immersed you in the speakers and the visual. But the visual it felt like a you know it was like a colored version of like you Star Fox. Yeah, you Star Fox. It was very close to that. Oh, Maybe wow. very polygonal. Um, yeah, like like that tank game that you got on like the old computers or like Tron. Like it was a lot like that polygon colored, but. We're talking mid '90s, coolest thing in the world to me. I mean, I remember it to this day. And all you could do is walk forward and shoot. Yeah. Um, coolest thing. I'm. I'm mad. I when I see what they can do now, I wonder how they ever got that built back then. Uh huh. Because uh, we barely got technology to do VR good. Yeah. And they did it okay back then, but this was in the '90s, so this was like 30 years ago, and they were able to do it. But ever since then, I I got the VR bug. Uh, I used to watch movies like. Uh, What's the movie with uh, Lawnmower Man? Yeah, Lawnmower Man, yeah. yeah. Lawnmower Man, Tron. All that stuff was really cool to me. Uh, even, like, hackers did some, like, fake VR-looking stuff. Yeah. Right? With a kind of car. Johnny like, like, in a garbage file. Yeah, and then Johnny Mnemonic did their, like, their, like their, there's different variations of VR, but it's always been like, one of the coolest things in the world to me. Yep. We finally got VR at home, so I'm bringing all this up to talk about a game called On Point, which is a VR shooter. It is at this core a VR shooter, and there's no way else to describe it outside of a VR shooter. This is the problem I have with VR now. We have all this technology we can do, and almost I would say a good 60% of the games on VR are just like, hey, let me shoot things. <laughs> yeah. Which is fine. It's just we have all these things, and people are like, well, what can you do, right? Well, you can shoot things. And it's like, okay. But it's so like basic that in the demo, when you get the VR headset, at least the meta quest. And said they have shooter demos, right? So you're yeah. already shooting things. So to me, to develop a game where you're just shooting things, yeah, feels I don't want to say lazy, but it's just like you have to make a shooter game where it's more complex than just the basics of I had this controller, I'm point at thing and shoot. And now I bring this all the way to on point, where it is the most basic form of a shooter game that there is. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but what I will say is it's a it feels the game feels like it's still in development. Um, because the game to me felt like a warrior. What's that game? Um, WarioWare. WarioWare, where you're just like, there's like a bunch of games. Mini, yeah, it felt like that with shooting. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you at the very beginning, like you know, you have like 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 this, right? You have two hands, right? One yeah. hand, and you hand. In VR, it's the same thing. You don't lose a hand when you play VR, but for whatever reason, when you play on point, you lose a hand. It makes you pick: Are you left-handed or right-handed? Okay, cool. Your left hand now disappears, and that is the most awkward thing. In the world to me like so if you're doing this there's mm -hmm. no hand there you're just doing this so i was yeah i felt myself doing this a lot because it just felt awkward to have my hand yeah there be present in the real world but when you see it's not there i mean i understand that they only want you to shoot from one hand that's fine but don't take away my arm <laughs> <laughs> i like my arm i mean it's there i mean just give me my arm yeah so that was the one thing about v what uh, on point i will say that just kind of really bugged me i i kid you not I kept doing this because all the time I was like, man, it just feels so weird taking. Hey, you know you have to be. Yeah, it. it's like a phantom pain. Like, yeah. the, by my arm is here, but it's not there in the game. So, like, the, all you can see is the gun, right? And mm -hmm. then your arm, yeah, it's just gone. Just gone. Nothing that you can do with it. Anyway, uh, that's one thing. Um, again, this felt like WarioWare. So, all the games felt like maybe at best they took two minutes long, and that worse, some of them for like 30 seconds because you could fail instantly in one of these games. Okay. Um, what were the games like? What were they doing? They're all just shooters. Like, so they're just, so they, they kind of boil down in categories as one game's shoot targets. Um, the targets will either be stationary or they remove, mm -hmm. and then you're basically shooting bullseyes. Some of them are like, shoot these targets, but don't shoot these targets. So, you have these bullseyes that move and you have these bombs and obviously if you shoot the bomb bad thing happen you lose stage yeah. so again you could lose one of these stages instantaneously just by shooting the mob um then they had the other game like shoot this thing that's basically a different shape bullseye so one of the game will be like shoot this can keep shooting it don't let it hit the ground okay it's basically a bullseye in the shape of a can and you keep shooting a bullseye you keep it like keep it in the air yeah okay every time you shoot it it bounces up and you keep doing that until you can't 
and I felt those things all the time, like in twice two shots, because I would shoot it one time, get it up, and then down. Um, and then, like I said, the things like shoot the fruit, which is basically bullseyes in the shape of fruit, and you shoot those, and you shoot as many as you can as possible. And yeah. then they have shoot these other objects, stationary objects, which is like um, it was always be like a china shop. Oh my! Some bunch of uh, um, ornaments in China. So I mean, you just shoot as many puzzles. That was like the funnest one because you can just like go, go buck wild, buck wild <laughs> just like, ah! <laughs> Again, it would be fun to have two arms going buck wild with it. Nope. But you can just have the one and go ah! You just like spray and spray, right? That yeah. one was always fun. And then they had another one where it's like you shoot the dragon's head, and it's kind of like aliens where you're shooting like this little dragon that moves around and keeps shooting it, and eventually that stops. Um, yeah, the China shop one was the funnest one. And then they had like the other one with like. Is this basically shoot bullseyes, but if you miss, you're penalized because you'd be like the bullseyes are on top of a glass, and if you shoot the glass, the glass breaks and all the bullseyes fall. Yeah. So you only shoot the bullseyes, so it's like more of an accuracy game. Um, that was interesting, actually. I, I kind of like that game because I had to take it slower and then like shoot the bullseyes. And because the first time I just shot, was shooting in like a loss, I was like, why did I lose? And I was like, oh, I shot the glass, the glass breaks, all the bullseyes fall. You just shoot the bullseyes and the glass won't fall. Gotcha. So yeah, that's that. Um, that was actually more fun the second time around when I got it. But again, those are the variations of games, and that gets old really quick. Mm -hmm. um, it gets old like at the two times, right? Like again, the China shop where you're just shooting all the ornaments. At the three times of that, you're just like, okay, I get it now. And I shoot the lanterns, shoot the like the pottery. It's fine. You just spray and pray. But yeah, yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, that game is actually really well. They they it's one of those like games that's really done well to sit down because all you're really doing is. You're sitting here and you're just shooting these things, so you don't need to move anywhere. So, you know, all the, all the degrees of freedom, you just need to be able to point and shoot. So, as long as you have, I guess, this much space in front of you, because that's where the whole game plays at, you're good. Um, again, the, the problem I have with this game is a couple things like the game just feels like it's in development mode still, so it mm -hmm. didn't feel complete. Um, I think more games need a uh, Zen mode where. Cause they give you infinite bullets you can shoot but like you can lose a stage very easy like like the can stage i shot it once shot it at a go I mean, miss and it's over yeah and she'd be like oh you know try again so i can get the hang of it but like yeah by the time i was getting the hang of it the stage was already over and i had to move on um what about the, 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 the tutorial stage where like the can was going slow to you kick that, it, and that, then like well it's a tutorial stage oh, okay i'm gonna say like <laughs> I don't say like what if the can like eventually got faster faster you, you kind of base your you got you got learn you learn yeah, timing see, that is like a yeah that's a good idea for a stage like the tutorial stage i did i think i may got three shots out the story so far fall like the tutorial stage wasn't that eat mm -hmm. like there needs to be a zen mode or easier tutorial stage um and like yeah he's progressing like levels harder like i think i played normal mode and that's mm -hmm. when I kept dying, like, instantly on most stages. I was like, this is normal. What would hard... Like, I didn't even bother checking out <laughs> expert mode or hard mode or whatever it was. It was, yes. it was like, I think it was training, normal, and, like, hard. I didn't even click on hard because I was like, well, fuck, I'm barely passing these normal games. Like, I would lose, like, every other game. Like, I, I started to get the hang of it more uh -huh. um, as time went on. But it still was just very hard. Um, and, again, it's, the game just feels like it's still in development. It feels like a... It feels like a test run of a game. Like, hey, we have a concept for a game. Let you know what you think about this. And that's how I felt. Like, it's pretty straightforward. Like, you you are a gun and you shoot, point at thing and shoot. Yep. And it, it is like a carnival game. And that, again, that's the problem with VR games. Is like, we have all this technology, all this degree of freezing and these controllers. And what do you think you do with them? You yep. point and shoot at thing. Uh, like, if there was like something more to it, like, solve puzzles like using a point and shoot thing like okay maybe like like a tetris thing like okay wait you need to get these blocks in a certain order so maybe point at this one first and you wish it fall like okay now i'm just back to the game pointing and shoot at bullseyes but now i have to do it in a specific order because it's more of a puzzle element yeah but that doesn't take that form it's just like hey carnival shoot at these things shoot at this thing shoot at this thing in this pattern shoot at this thing in this order shoot things freely few things moving avoid so is there is there things. a set amount of games in the whole game so in the very first tutorial i think there was like nine squares uh -huh. in the normal mode i want to say there was something like six probably like 32 squares and i don't know what how far an expert but they uh -huh. did have like variations of games but they were just like variations of same concept yeah the bullseye thing. like it was like shoot this moving target shoot these still targets don't shoot these targets shoot this target multiple and how was the audio 
I think it's fine. Uh, I don't think. Song, is it like songs, music, or anything? Nothing or? that stands out to me. I don't remember it being anything special, but I don't remember it being bad. Like the audio is one thing that I think everyone does well on VR, oddly enough. Mm-hmm. Um, which is, you know, which is basic. Like, again, though it's not stand out, like the game looked fine. Um, the, it, it feels like if you went to a carnival mm-hmm. and you paid five dollars to play like a VR experience, this is what you get, right? Yeah. Um, a very straightforward, hey, you're in the carnival game area, you play this game, play this game, play this game, you lose, have a nice day. There's not much to it outside that, which, which made it feel like the game was still in development mode. And it does say app development mode there. I just don't feel like there's anywhere to go from here except add more shooter games or add an extra arm, give you uh, maybe give you two guns. I think that would have made things more fun. Mm-hmm. Um, or Is like, there a multiplayer option? Uh, VR games don't have multiplayer options in general. Oh. As far as I know, I mean, like, there's VR games where you can play multiplayer, like, you know, me versus you, but, yeah, like, if you're at home, because this was a straightforward, you're sitting in this little circle and you're shooting at things. Yeah. It's really hard to do a uh, multiplayer mode in that. Uh, but, again, this thing, this what this game is good for is, like, hey, someone comes over, hey, let me have you play this cool little VR game, because it's, again, straightforward. You, you don't need to know anything except, oh, shoot bullseye right you get it and it'll yeah. explain like if there's something different to you like oh it's shoot the fruit oh i get it there's gonna be fruit flying shoot it's very wiry well in that aspect yeah so it's very straightforward but again it just feels too straightforward it feels very basic um again i don't mean to say it in a bad way I, again the game says it's in development so there's a way to take this as a um proof of concept of the hey we developed this very basic game now we're going to take this to a, a different world uh because like what's the like uh what's the game with the block it's a ball flies up and it hits Rick blocks. yeah i think it would be cool to have something like that where you're watching this ball and you have to shoot and then you put the target like the brick the, the bouncy thing there and you watch it bounce right and then it disappears and then you yeah. keep doing that and like as it time progresses you get to keep doing it faster faster and you're trying to aim okay. like something more like that or it is basically you're shooting a target but you're having to no, aim at bricks Okay. Use your brain to figure out where it's going to bounce next, and then use the, your power shooting, and then you get power ups, right? And so you can do basically what is brick breaker, but elevate the concept with shooting, and now you're doing something beyond just shooting at targets. Gotcha. Um, so to me, it's like the most basic, one of the most basic. There's like two most basic games you're in VR, or three really basic. One, you're just the reason for you is walking around this world. Okay. The other one is like you're sitting down and there's a film happening around you, mostly just horror films or like different CGI stuff or like, oh, you're on a roller coaster and the other one's shooting at shit. Yeah. <laughs> and this which is the third one. You're just shooting at shit. Or to combine those, you're on a roller coaster and you're shooting at shit. Or you're walking around this area and you're shooting at shit, right? Gotcha. That's why there's a lot. There are a lot of zombie shooters on VR. It'll probably like I if you so. yeah like it's the highest like frequent or highest uh, representation of shooting zombie games is probably on VR. Um, in this game, this even in that, it's just you're just shooting at targets. And not a bad game. It's basically a carnival game, which they already have plenty of on VR. Yeah. Um, which they, I feel like they can switch it up. Maybe not. You're just shooting at shit. Maybe you throw a boomerang at some shit. Right? Okay. Maybe you shoot. Maybe you shoot a basketball at some shit. Right. Yeah. We, it, that, at the end of the day, that would just be a carnival game, but you're doing more than just shooting at shit. Maybe give you an archery bow, right? And then you shoot at you some two, shit. Two yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah, two hands, right? Right. But maybe they can give you a one hit. Maybe, yeah, like he, they have you grab this and then you have to pull and aim like a, 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 um, gotcha. a giant slingshot, right? Yeah. Where you're still shooting at shit, but now there's so much yeah. extra bonus to like, okay, I pull here and I got to angle it this way. And now you're using more degrees of motion and freedom and like yeah sure you're shooting at shit but yeah you're now you're doing more than and because yeah that this gets old to me again because i love vr so much so i we've we used to go to a vr conference that's how much vr yeah, LA. yeah vr la I, i've done so many vr things that shooting at shit to me is just so like dude you're again when when i told that story at the very beginning of this so many things get cut out all we did was walk and shoot at shit in the 90s, which was yeah. fucking cool. Now that it is 2024, I feel like we should be flying 
through a space roller coaster and then shooting us at the very minimum. Yeah. Again, this is a carnival game. That doesn't make it bad. It's like Wario, where it's fun to shoot at shit, but it's very gimmicky at this point because, man, I, I used to have a, a rip timer every time I said shoot at shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, um, that is so, so basic at this point that it, I'd had. It's a good proof of concept. I'm hoping there's more to come, but I can't imagine that there's a lot to so again there's a game here yep. there's a core design the game says it's in development and maybe this is just one aspect of the game because i i don't even mind the uh warioware bit of it because it's like a bunch of different gaming games so you kind of just get to switch it up right yep um that's what warioware does great like they have these really goofy mini games and you get to switch it up what you do need is a, a multiplayer element there might be a multiplayer man on the way or it might be there again this is after development or development yeah. So it is possible that we need to get you in this version first before we move on to the next part, which is the uh, first side. So we'll see. At the end of the day, shooting that shit is fun, but it is very short lived. And there are a lot of shoot at shit games. Shoot at, uh, some of my favorite games are shoot at shit zombies. Saints and Sinners is one of them. I play that game all the time. Uh, Resident Evil has made its way to VR. So that's another shoot at shit game, but it's a little different. So again, a zombie shooter, but there's a lot of shoot at shit games. So even Arian 51, where we were doing back in the 90s, which was basically shoot at shit. Yeah. Um, that game in VR would be fun, but we've done that so many times where if you're going to be shoot at shit game, you got to elevate it beyond shoot at shit. It has to be more interesting. And then I'll stay at that. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. That was, that was Dre's <laughs> review of uh, what's the game again, Dre? Uh, 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 I believe it's called shoot at shit. Shoot at shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got on point. Again, no, nothing wrong with it. It just. It feels like a game in development, and I know how it is developing games. So they got the shoot that shit aspect down. They figured that shit out, right? They, yeah. they have nailed that part. Now let's go from there. All right. <laughs> yep. I uh, put we'll links to the bottom in the description for where to buy it. So I made a quest. Uh, Dre played on Mayhem Three. Do you think it's part, it's part two compatible? Uh, because it's so simple, I think it'd be. Uh, I don't know that this is the case, right? Just quote me on that. Yeah. But the Oculus Go, which is like the most basic form of Oculus, doesn't have the six degrees of freedom. Basically, all you can do is just look around. Uh -huh. Because you don't need anything outside of tracking your hand, which is shoot at shit, uh -huh. and then moving, it's probably playable on the most basic form of VR. Okay. Uh, I played it on Steam, so you probably don't even need it on Oculus. Anything that can play a VR game. So I guess the PSP VR, I think the PS2 VR is now a compatible with the computer. Um, they had the big screen. I'm not sure that can track a controller, so maybe not that one, but the Steam VR. Yeah. Um, the Viva and then the um, Oculus is the other one that can track a controller. So they're, this is like the most basic game I played. So I think it's if you have a form of VR play that can track a controller, you're fine. So if you, I even think like the Samsung controllers with a controller with the controller, if it has that, I, I don't know that they still exist, but I used to. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's a very simple game. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, there you go. Check it out. Uh, thanks for watching, and then we shall see you later. Peace.